what's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video we're going to be looking at an insane $600 PC build that has the GCX 1660 Super and the i5 9400F. This is probably one of the best $600 PC builds on the market right now at the end of 2019 going into 2020. Before this video starts, I'd like to thank your CD key for sponsoring this video. If you're looking to get Windows 10 Pro for a very inexpensive price for your new PC build, then your CD key is the place to go. It's super easy to purchase. All you do is click on the buy now button. And if you enter the promo code GUNNER20, you get 20% off, bringing down the cost to just under $12. Right after then, you will be brought to a screen with the activation code, which then you can activate Windows 10 Pro. Note that this is only for a fresh install and not an upgrade. For more details, check the description box down below. So the following are the timestamps for the video. If you're looking for something in particular, you can skip right ahead. Also all the links to find everything you see in this video are down below. Using those links will help out the channel at no extra cost to you. Okay, so starting off with the CPU, the i5-9400F. You can pick these up on sale right now for $130 to $140. And for that price on the AMD side, you're looking at the Ryzen 5 2600 or 2600X. And the i5 does perform slightly better than both of these, especially in gaming performance. It's a 6 core, 6 thread, 9th gen Coffee Lake CPU with a boost clock of 4.1 GHz. The only catch here is that you need a discrete GPU, but then again so does the Ryzen 5 series. You want to stick around until the benchmarks because this CPU gives off some insane performance for its price. For the motherboard, I'm going with the Gigabyte B365M. It's a small form factor micro ATX motherboard that supports both 8th and 9th gen Intel CPUs for the LGA 1151 socket. It has 4 RAM slots that support speeds up to 2666 MHz and it also has a M.2 NVMe slot. This is one of those inexpensive motherboards that cost around $70, and for this $600 budget, it's pretty much what I had to work with. However, if you do have an extra $100 for a $700 budget, stick around till the end of the video and I'll show you what you can upgrade to this build to even bring you more value to your dollar. For the RAM, I was able to get the Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4 8 gigs, and for the speeds, you want to try to get the max supported by the motherboard, which is 2666. If that's not available, 2400 MHz is fine too, but anything under that, I wouldn't recommend. And the reason I'm going with 8 gigs and not 16 gigs is because I wanted to spend more of the budget on the GPU, which is arguably the most important component to any gaming PC build. So for storage, I'm using an SSD and it's the Corsair MX500 256GB. I got this locally and I'm not sure if this is available on Amazon, but I'll leave a good few alternatives like the Kingston A400 and the SanDisk SSD which I've both used in the past. This SSD is to install your games, apps and operating system windows, which again, link in the description, you can pick up for a very inexpensive price from your CD key. Now moving on to the main components of this build, the graphics card, the NVIDIA GTX 1660 Super. It's a 6 gig card and is perfect for 1080p gaming at high to ultra settings. You will be getting around 60 frames per second on ultra settings at 1080p and around 80 to 90 on high settings for most of the games tested. It's based on the 12 nanometer Turing architecture and it doesn't have RT cores so no RTX but in my opinion that isn't a huge loss. It's almost as good as the 1660 Ti but for a much cheaper price. It retails for $230 and the version I have is the Gigabyte one. It's got a good dual fan design and even comes with their backplate. So here are the benchmarks for some popular games. Moving on to the power supply, I've gone with the Thermaltake Smart 500 Watt 80 Plus White Certified. It's nothing special, but for only $45, it can definitely power this PC up without any problems, and it's one of the better budget power supplies out there. 
Lastly, we have the case, and since we have a small form factor motherboard, we can build this in a micro ATX case. However, if you do want a bit more space and a bit better cooling, then you can still build this inside a normal sized ATX case, and I'll leave a good few options down below in the description. But for this build, we're looking at the Thermaltake Versa H17 Tempered Glass Edition. It's got a mesh front panel with a blue LED strip up front and comes with a pre-installed rear 120mm fan. This case is really high quality and you really can't go wrong with it. Okay, so if you have an extra $100 for a $700 build, then this is what upgrades you should do to this build to make this an even better PC. First of all, the motherboard. I recommend getting a Z390 series instead of the B365M such as this MSI Z390A Pro. It's on sale right now for $100 and the difference here is that you can overclock the GPU and have RAM speeds up to 4400 MHz. And that brings us to the next upgrade and that's to get 16 gigs of RAM instead of 8 gigs. Again I'm looking at the Corsair Vengeance LPX but this time at a faster clock speed of 3000 MHz or higher. The next component that you probably want to get is a better CPU cooler such as this Cooler Master Hyper 212 Black Edition. I think it looks really cool, no pun intended, and the reviews speak for itself. An optional component is perhaps an RGB fan or if you don't fancy RGB, something like the Be Quiet Silent Wings 3 is also a very good option. With that being said, that pretty much wraps up this build. And remember all the links are in the description. If this video helped you in any way, please leave a like and as always, thanks for watching.